Before I start today's video, opening up a package on what I have here is from K-Tune. Uh, this is for the manifold for the uh, Integra that's over there, outside sitting. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just, just do this uh, quick unboxing for you guys and just show you on what it's gonna look like over there in the uh, engine bay. We're not gonna fully bolt it on. I'm just gonna do, like, I just wanna do like, a quick mock-up and see what it will look like. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go get a box cutter. All right, let's try this. Oh my God. I'm gonna put the camera down for this. Love the welds, and it's got the nice K Tune badge right there. You can definitely see that. The welds, the work on this is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna go ahead and get these started and get these mounted on just to test with them. All right, so. I don't know if you can see me if it's like too too bright outside. But um I got the manifold installed. We'll just mocked up on it. It looks so clean. Like just backing up away from it. It looks pretty cool. Now we are going to um fully bolt it up. We just gotta put a gasket in between and make our exhaust as well. So we're gonna do it starting we're gonna you know make the exhaust starting from the headers and then work our way down to the uh, rear end of the car. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to go from there. But yeah, that's another piece of the puzzle, you know, for that unboxing. I just love it so much. I had to actually jack up the car from the front just to uh, mount these headers on. I mean, I have a lift, but we have an RSX in there and I don't have the keys to it. Um, usually we'll be able to use them. We'll be able to use the lift a lot easier just putting that underneath instead of using a jack. But um, I tried moving it, I tried putting it in for the top, but it was just too um, too closed in. There wasn't enough room. So I think that was the only solution. But, um, but that's okay. They're on, they fit fine, they just need more bolts on and a gasket. But, um, but yeah, that, that's the mock up right there. I'm pretty hyped on it. I love everything that's coming along with this, um, with this build. And especially with
noise. How do these look? These are the crusty. Okay. So let's let's just fucking hope this whole time before it's, it was just a bonehead gasket. So put new fresh oil at the end of the day. Let's go resurface. shop um, just before they close and but hopefully you'll be getting it back within a couple of days it should just take too long it's only getting a resurface and a cleanup um, so um, after that we'll be you know putting it back on on the engine you know putting everything back together and putting it all in on the E46 getting it all situated and then we'll tighten everything up add some more fluid and give it another start hopefully who won't give me any issues like it did before in the beginning um because that was a real because that was like a real real bummer um because you know like when you buy like this car you know if it's like your project car like you whether you want to like take it to a show get it all you know take it to a show car meets or like if this is going to be like your drift car you want to take it to you know to the track and get into drifting um you know when you do some adjustments on the car you, you find that there's another issue going on um and you know that, that that occurs and you know you just gotta go there and fix it um so that's just how it's been so far with the e46 and um but anyways we're almost there just gonna get this um the cylinder head back once it's done We'll put all the parts together. I already have a new head gasket for it, new cylinder bolts, um, excuse me, new head bolts for it, and some tools um, that I upgraded um, later on. But uh, yeah, everything else we have, like we have all the fluids ready um, for it, such as oil and antifreeze. I mean, I definitely don't want to like go out of my way and look for a different motor and swap in, swap in an E46. Um, I definitely want to do my best and get this M54 dialed as best as I can with Kyle and just so I definitely want to stick with this um, with this engine for the time being since this is my first time this is gonna be my first time drifting and this is my first drift car and, and first time doing all of this so definitely want to stick with what I have around me and work from there and improve in the future um, some of my friends were asking me just get a VA, get an LS and swap it. I almost was, I was almost tempted to do it, but it's just more work and definitely gonna have to tune to get away with it. And with the Amphitheater 4, we just need an engine rebuilt. And once that's back together, it's just gonna be like a regular car again, although it has a welded dip. Um, but so far, it's so good. I mean, everything else around the car is solid. And just want, I just want to have this engine solid too. Like I said, just for the time being until I improve on the track or just until, obviously just until I blow up this motor, you know? Once this one blows up in the future, then I'll consider getting a different motor to swap an E46. But uh, yeah, until then I'm gonna just hold on and cross my fingers, hope this doesn't give me any more issues after. And then yeah, go from there, move along. So, so stick around for more, for more footage um, after this. I'm actually gonna close this out, so 
um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do an end or anything like this. This, um, after this, just gonna, just, I'm um, just gonna keep playing the video until it ends. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, stay tuned. <laughs> Let's just see what he's, yeah, let's just see what he does next.